know, last night I uh, got home late from the reception and sat down to talk, think about what I wanted to say to you, to answer the question of why I want to be chair of this party. Uh, and I'll admit, when I was first sitting down, the question was more like, why do I want to be chair of this party? <laughs> but the answer I gave myself last night, and the answer I'm giving you today, is the answer of why I decided to do this in the first place. 35 years ago, I wasn't standing up in a suit or anything like this. I was in a one-bedroom apartment with two parents who were recent immigrants. A family where unemployment benefits and food stamps were what made the difference for us when times were tough. And because of good public schools and good, good public school teachers, because of public libraries and good parks, because of Pell Grants and federal student loans, I was able to go from a kid whose parents didn't speak any English, any English to working for the white, for, in the White House for the President of the United States. happens in America because of the Democratic Party. Because we have, we have one party, one party in our country that stands up for public schools. One party that says immigrants are a strength, not a weakness. One party that says we're all in this together, we can up and down together. Yeah, one party is the Democratic Party, the party that we are here today to save and rebuild and grow. That's what this election is about. That's what we have to do going forward. We all know what's at stake. Four years ago, Jan Napolitano and Terry Goddard were re-elected with more than 60% of the vote. And Terry Goddard is here, we should give him a big round of applause. We elected Gary Mitchell and Gabby Giffords. Two years after that, two years ago, with John McCain running for president, we elected Andrew Patrick, and we elected two out of three of our statewide offices. And last year, we all know what happened. For the first time in 16 years, Democrats didn't win any statewide office. And we have super majorities for the Republican Party in our state legislature for the first time in Arizona history. And we know what that means. We know it's not just about running candidates in all the different places in our state, and we need to do that. Because we had great candidates. Put aside your treasurer candidate, we had the best statewide slate we have ever had. <laughs> Nancy Youngwright, and Kath Fleming, and others. We have great candidates, and I'll just name a few, but there's great ones out there. Andrea Del Sandro, and Cheryl Cage, and Bill Shumway, and Press Winslow. A guy named Prescott Winslow lost. In Winslow. So why was it? Because we were on the defense instead of being on the offense as a party. They took the fight to us instead of we going to us going out there and standing up for our ideas and what we believe in and making sure that they answer what they have done to our state. And that's what we as Democrats have to do going forward because we have no reason to be afraid. The Russell Pierce Republicans are kicking kids out of health care and stuffing more of them into each classroom, taking cops off the street and putting more criminals out of jail and back on the street. They are selling our state capital to big banks in New York and making Arizona a laughing stock. We don't have to accept that. And for too long, folks have been waiting for Arizona Democrats to show up for that fight. And our message here today is your wait is over. So we need a strong message that will get the Democrats excited and motivated, but also say we have an open door to disaffected Republicans, to independents, people who are just fed up. You have a home here in today's Democratic Party. And we need to do that. We need a bottom-up strategy that says we're going to work with our county chairs, our LD chairs, so it's not just about the Central Avenue office making decisions, but people all over our state making decisions. But most of all, we have to win again, because we all know what is at stake. Right now, somewhere in this state, there is a little kid who has no idea what we're doing here today. And maybe her parents are immigrants. And maybe they don't have a lot of money. But we are here today because we want to send a message to her that there are people out there who are ready to fight their heart out for her. That's why we're Democrats. Let us go forward from here united and growing in strength. Let's treat each other like family. And let's make sure that we make a Democratic Party that we can be proud of so we can build an Arizona that we can be proud of. Thank you so much.